live with Pete and Enoas, who live in the same city, by the way, Uppsala. But we're about to find out. I hope we're not seeing a hand warmer. And we're not. We're going straight into it. Yeah. I think, like, Reaper and Randomness might have the advantage in, uh, like, single player skill. But, uh... Bida and Anyos might be the better team, but we'll yeah. see how it goes. I'm expecting to see a bit more synergy from them, just because they're from the same region, they're same very, city, fa yeah. very familiar with each other's playstyles. But at the same time, um, Beat is the only player on the uh, screen not playing his main right now. Yeah. That might also uh, affect the, the course of the game. Well, Beat, I've never seen him play much more from teams. It doesn't seem... It's, it seems like... He's uh, resigned himself to, to pick spaces in general on teams. Yeah. And a lot of Marfs actually do that. Yeah. Except for the fair uh, few character loyalists. Yeah. I was surprised uh, that uh, Beat was able to make it back there. That might be a part of that missing synergy that we were talking about. Yeah. As a result of this uh, made-up team that probably played its first matches today. Yeah. Wow. Double Edgehog. That is the only real advantage of having uh, over 100%. Yeah. Is you get those much longer Edgehogs. And we see this, uh, this Swedish team with uh, three stock advantage already. Yeah. Who knows? Reaper and Randomness might grow into this. It would take a lot of adapting, though. Because right now it just seems like they're getting outclassed in, in teams. Good counter there by Reaper. Tricks out on the back air of Aniulas. Beat not. Oh, and that Edgehog by Aniulas was really clutch. Just back throw Edgehog. And Reaper barely lifts oh, wow. that. Ricky, Ricky is a math genius. He yeah. knew that one character would die, the other would live. It's worth pointing out here that more than two minutes had passed before Beat uh, lost his first stock in this game. Wow. <laughs> Those teams have been going pretty fast. Wow, okay. Good recovery there by Reaper. Ooh, tries, didn't convert anything Yeah, there. tries to lob uh, Aniolos there for Randomness to pick up, but Randomness uh, fails to uh, see the moment there. Anyway, this seems like a very comfortable win for a blue team. Yeah, looking like a four stock. Nope. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. Yeah, if Beat lost the stock there, it would have suddenly become a lot more interesting. Ah. Misspaced recovery there by, by Reaper and uh, to drop the first game, but they don't seem to have given up. Kind of laughs about it and yeah. has a little bit of strategy talk now. So Dubros losers round two. That means this is for 17th place right now. I think... Uh, it's a 32-man bracket, so this is 17th place, I think. Probably, yeah. yeah. And I think uh, I, th I saw randomness mouth the words Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. Even though I'm... Would have probably suggested Yoshi's story just so to. So, are you a good lip reader? Yes. Well, yeah, it seems like it. Press one if you thought that was impressive. Wow. <laughs> Imperfect, the lip reader. <laughs> yeah. And Ricky switching to Falco for this game. Um, yeah, I think I think picking Falco uh, as a counter pick after picking Fox is a is a matter of confidence. Like it's when you know that your your Falco would do better in a one v one situation than yeah. the, than your Fox. That was a nasty conversion by Beat though. But to take uh, that first stock off of the uh, off of randomness. Another good reason to pick Falco is to bring the element of disruption to your team that uh, you, that you can't you can do with Fox, but not to the same extent. Yeah, because of the laser. The laser, laser is one of the best tools in the game for in teams. Like one of the best, but it can also be the worst at times. Like, yeah, it can really disrupt a lot of things and even prevent uh, guaranteed kills. And you exactly. have to be careful with how you use it. Yeah. But 
But it, it is the best support tool in the game, like yeah. when used properly. And uh, this is one of the things that allow that compensates uh, for some of Falco's weaknesses, which is his very low survivability, and the fact that his combos are quite easy to interrupt. And his low running speed. Yeah. He can cover a lot of distance with that laser, even though he can't actually exactly. uh, physically be there. He can, he can get <coughs> involved with situations across the stage. He's a very underrated character in teams. At least in teams that are not uh, Fox Falco. Yeah. Uh, you don't see Falco very often like that in, in other in something else than uh, Fox Falco. Yeah. For instance, you see a lot of double Fox teams, and it's a really powerful combination. Or Fox, but you see a lot of Fox plus something. Basically. Yeah. But a, Fox, double Falco, Fox anything, yeah. a double Falco would probably uh, be uh, <laughs> very uh, Double Falco is probably the most YOLO team possible. Yeah. Like it's There's just so many things that can go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but it's very destructive. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely a glass it's definitely the ultimate glass cannon team. Okay. I uh, me and Tumber play Ooh. something pretty similar to that, which is Falco Ice Climbers. It's very destructive, very glass cannony, but things can go wrong really fast. Yeah, <laughs> and just like that while we were talking there, um, the combination of Reaper and Ranmus uh, was actually uh, in the lead for a brief moment. Yeah. So uh, I would say this uh, was a very good counter pick on their part. looking more competitive than uh, the first game. Definitely Ever better. Came the Falco pick has been better. It seems like Randomness is more comfortable in the matchups as Falco. I believe he's from the same region as both both uh, B and Aniolas currently is, oh, like in the Stockholm region. So uh, uh, maybe he has experience against... Uh, I would assume he does, yeah. But Reaper lost his stock and suddenly... <gasps> oh! That was a wow, very he goes ham with the forward mistake smashes. by... Uh, and he wins. Oh wow! If he if he kills Sheik now, he has yeah. a chance. And you see, he's really trying for it, really trying to sneak in that back air. But sometimes the best course of action is oh, okay, yeah, that's a bad oh, situation. Oh, good smash the eye. Yeah, that's about oh, it. Oh wow! And again, again oh, smash the eye. And that sneaky shorten. That's dead. Yeah. But that double laser from the ledge when Fox is standing right there is so risky, and he yeah. really got punished hard for it there. Double laser from the edge is just dangerous. Well, not when the opponent's on the other side yeah, of, yeah, of, course, of the screen, of course, but, but when the fox is standing right there. Well, in a 1v2 situation, yeah. it's suicidal, almost yeah. suicidal. I mean, if if one of the two characters is not going to hit you, the, the other one will. So yeah. It's just very dangerous to do. But it looks like we have a best of five, so they are going to get one more crack at it. Yeah. Well, game two was a lot more competitive than game one, so if uh, this trend continues, we might see... Um, Reaper and Randomness take the first game. They were definitely making some good adjustments uh, outside of picking Falco. Okay. Nice. Reaper getting a little worked by Beat there. Beat being a Marth main himself, he seems to uh, know how to play against yeah, Marth. Yeah, to understand Marth's uh, shortcomings. And uh, Randomness did really well there to, uh, to allow Reaper to recover. Marf off stage and Beat doing a really good job keeping the Falco busy. So that Falco can't save Reaper. Which he did just uh, moments earlier. But, yeah, but this Reaper time. Reaper got sent off again. The UGS Light, if we can call them that, is uh, two stocks up. Nice. As I say that, it becomes one stock up. That's yeah, a pretty close game still. Yeah. Neola's uh, tanking pretty convincingly right now. Fails to uh, convert off of that edge guard opportunity though, but still keeping Ricky on the ledge and unable to we're provide any a, sort of support. We're for seeing a double two v one at the moment. Uh, not anymore, but it was for a long period there. This is something that happens on big stages pretty often. Yeah. Where you kind of get two separate singles matches going on yeah, exactly. at the same time. It takes it, um, but one of the skills of teams is really being able to keep an eye on what's happening outside of uh, your zone, basically. 
and, and knowing when it's time to give up on this combo you were doing on your team, on, on the opponent. Sometimes you have to save your teammate instead of uh, getting the combo on your opponent or the kill. Yeah, and Reaper is kind of getting a little work this game, unfortunately, not being able to, uh, to put his stamp on the match, mm. kind of thrown out counters and getting punished. And not having all that much success. Let's see here if we can get a conversion. Is that okay? Oh, okay. Oh, and he just misses. Oh wow, the that dipper. was a wow. <laughs> Ricky with the interesting. I mean, the randomness with the interesting reads. Gets the ledge there. Very nice. Gets the grab uh, on a new loss grab, again. Uh, doesn't get the conversion. It gets back aired by uh, by beat there. Okay, Rick, randomness of stage. Wow, perfectly. Okay, spaced perfectly out of the edge guard, but he still died right after. Yeah. And this looks pretty hopeless for red team. Yeah. And we see the positive evolution uh, that we saw in their game last game is quickly, quickly coming to an end in this game. Yeah. It seems like blue team has adapted to a lot of things. Some sneaky ledge play uh, from Reaper here. Yeah. But Oh, and, he and that is it. It's slapped out by that down smash, and that's it. <laughs> a little bit of uh, handshake confusion here going on from all parties. <laughs> and uh, Beat Naniolas takes it 3 0. And they make it into top 16. I um, wouldn't be surprised if they actually make it to top 8. It depends on. Uh, yeah, they can do it. Uh, 